All right, so as you can see here, the kittens are very lively. We have, well, we've looked at them and we have one girl, four boys, as far as we know. Like, that's what we came up with. Now, of course, we could be wrong. It's hard to tell with kittens at this point, but they are having such a blast climbing out of this pen. It is a good time for them. And um, we let them do that throughout the day. My office is in the basement. So when I'm down there, I just leave the thing unzipped. They come out, they jump around. They like climbing on this little, this little scratch post slash bed that we got for Brittany that, you know, she doesn't really use right now. So they climb out, they jump on that. Um, they also can jump to the floor and they're ready to go. So, um, we're really excited that they are just getting around so well and they all seem really really healthy they'll be going to the vet soon for just checkups and vaccines and all that stuff so deworming as well um but yeah everybody's doing pretty well so we will be taking them into the vet probably next week or the week after to get them checked out and dewormed and all that good stuff um everybody is above where they should be for weight so not a problem. Brittany is still nursing, but we are feeding them both wet and dry food um, throughout the day. So they're getting, I mean, they seem to like the dry food better, which is interesting, but we're feeding them both just so that they get, you know, a taste of, of all of it. Because at this point we're we know that wet food is, is the better option. It has, just has more moisture in it. And like cats drink water but not as much as they should usually and we want to kind of head off any urinary tract issues and all that stuff that tend to come later in life for cats so we will kind of bounce back and forth and see like the wet food isn't quite as much of a draw yet but it could be eventually I mean they're just for a while there they weren't they weren't eating any of it now they love it when the dry food comes around so we will be giving them both um, and obviously water. They still are not quite clear on drinking the water out of a bowl. So we're probably just going to have to get them a fountain because every time we put a bowl in there, we have to stay there to make sure that they don't um, have an accident with it. And what they usually do is they just knock it over. <laughs> so we put it in there, they sniff it, they kind of like, they try to smell it and inhale a little bit of water and then they sneeze and then they flip the bowl over. So that's what they've been doing so far. We'll probably just get them a fountain like we have for our other cats because that seems to work pretty well with getting cats drinking. So that's what's going on with our kitties. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.